Casco Manufacturing and Herd Cedar Company. Today we're going to be running an old 750 and spreading a little bit of fertilizer on a food plot. We're a little late, you know, I'm a little nervous, that's why I'm going to put a little bit extra uh, on. We're going to go just over 300 pounds an acre. This is some triple 12, just an all-purpose fertilizer. Uh, it's just a thin, narrow band that we actually cleared out at the last minute and we've set a, a new shadow hunter up here. It's going to be a new set for us, but I'm pretty excited about it. This is uh, you know, just one of the many steps that it took to get us to where we're uh, hoping to be this fall. This 750, um, we're actually got the, the handle here on the back. That way you can open and shut it. We're going to engage the PTO at an idle. That way it's easy on the unit. You don't want to rev it up and immediately throw, you know, throw the PTO. It's not good on your machine uh, or your, your tractor, either one. But this is the handle to open and shut the gate. We've already went through and we've set the, uh, the correct opening there. There's a nut that needs to be removed and there's a, a, uh, a gauge there from zero to two inches of the maximum opening. We're only about a half an inch or so right now for the rate that we're looking for. And you just refer to the seed chart that's on the side here. It'll give you your exact opening, tell you how fast to run, and give you an idea of what your spread width is gonna be. Now for this narrow band, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Instead of um, opening it up um, a little further, I'm going to back it down, and then when I throttle uh, this unit up, I'm only going to go to probably 1500 RPMs because I want a narrow band. I don't want to be throwing my fertilizer out in the standing corn or back into to the woods here. So I want it to be just the width of my plot, and when I get down to the end, it opens up. So I'll throttle up, get the spread out, and they can go you know, 30, even almost 40 feet sometimes. So um, just make sure that you've got your thing dialed in and to run the right RPM for what you're doing. Uh, let's do a little test uh, test here and see how it goes. All right, we're gonna engage the PTO. We got the fertilizer I always like to take a look and see how we actually did you know, uh, very very visible you know being white um, take a look here you know it's perfectly even we don't have any gaps any missed spots and I think we got the right amount on you know we, we put it on a little heavy and that's what I intended to do so uh, our next step is we're gonna go ahead and get the, the small four foot Veramax out and I'm going to angle the blades all the way so it actually works this, uh, this fertilizer into the ground and lays that seed right on top and packs it in. This is going to be a uh, new plot for us, but I'm excited. Uh, we worked it this year and had to do all this because we had to do, uh, cut down a few trees and pull out some invasive uh, honeysuckle. There was a lot of honeysuckle all the way down this row and we used an intimidator. We pulled them out, but we had to work the ground and fill all the holes in because it was pretty rough, you know. So uh, we'll probably no-till this next year, 
but this year took a lot of preparation and uh, I think it's going to be worth it in the, in the long run. Uh, hopefully we can get a, a good one down this year and, and get it all on video.